Good day, everyone. Let's look at our question. List and explain the terms of the basic conditions of employment act. Please note that this question will be done in two parts in order to cover all 10 terms. Before we can answer the question, we need to look at our cognitive verbs or action words. List. Here we expect the learner to list or name the number of facts asked. Remember not to list more than what is asked to avoid wasting time. Explain. Requires more depth from the learner, and so with this question, split marking is used. Let's look at the terms of the basic conditions of employment act. Working hours. Employees do not work more than 45 hours in any week. Meals and rest periods. 60 minute break after five consecutive hours of work. Overtime. Employees are paid 1.5 times their hourly rate compensation for working on weekdays and Saturdays. If an employee by agreement works on Sundays and public holidays, they are paid double their hourly rate. Public holidays. The BCEA says that workers will be paid for holidays that fall on a business day and work is done by appointment only. Annual leave. The word annual means yearly. The BCEA provides for 21 consecutive days per year. Let's look at our keywords or terms. For working hours, it is 45 hours and week. For meals and rest periods, it is 60 minute and hours for 60 minute break for five consecutive hours. For overtime, we highlight the words or the numbers 1.5 and 2. For public holidays, we highlight the words pay and holidays. And for annual leave, we highlight the words or terms or numbers 21 and days per year. Let's look at some images that can help us remember these provisions. Our first image is for working hours, and we have a clock there that will hopefully, hopefully remind you about working hours that are provided for. Our second image also reminds us of a clock, but it also looks like a dinner plate with a fork and a knife. Hopefully this image will remind you of food and will remind you of meals and rest periods. The third image is a person working at a computer, but we have a moon in the background. Usually people do not work at night, and so hopefully this image will remind you of the provision over time. Public holidays. Public holidays are usually special days, and we see an image of a snowman. And while we don't have much snowfall in South Africa, hopefully the snowman will remind you of something special, like a public holiday. The last image that we look at is a person lying on a lounger under an umbrella. Now, every year we get a summer holiday, and so hopefully this image will remind you of our yearly leave or annual leave. Next, we need to cover up our facts. We are left with 45 hours and week, 60 minute hours, 1.5 and 2, pay and holidays, 21 days per year. Next, we take away our keywords and we are left only with our provisions and our images. We are left with working hours, meals and days periods, overtime, public holidays and annual leave. Next, we remove the provisions. Now, learners, you are only left with your images and hopefully you can remember the provisions and the descriptions provided in this video. Please remember that the second part of this video will follow.